The countdown is on. The big race is just around the corner. We're talking about Bloomsday, but if you can't wait or maybe you're out of town, virtual Bloomsday is an option and it kicks off today. Krem 2's Brandon T. Jones is live in downtown Spokane right now. So Brandon, what do runners really need to know? Because you don't need to run the Bloomsday course. You can, but you have really an endless options for virtual Bloomsday. Good morning. Endless options indeed. Good morning, Tim. Yeah, it, virtual Bloomsday, I remember it started back during the pandemic and now it's just become somewhat of a tradition to get everyone involved, whether it's your family members who have now moved on and lived to, in different locations or it's an invitation to basically anyone in the world. So you can go and get this same challenge. You can run that seven. 0.46 miles, but you choose your own pace or location. It's virtually the same sign up process. Ha <laughs> ha You get it? Did you get it? Just got to go to the official Bloomsday website and for the virtual option runs from today until Sunday, May 5th. And since we're on the topic for those who will be running locally on that first Sunday in May or walking, there's still time to register. The price is currently $35 to sign up, but that will go up to about $50 on May 2nd. So we'll see if I can spot anyone training up or anyone getting ready. I know our uh, Bloomsday chief correspondent, Thomas Patrick, we're not gonna see him running this morning. That's because he's uh, taking care of the weather for us. But I know he's uh, probably going to be getting out there a little bit later today and uh, start training. But for now, reporting live here in downtown Spokane, Brandon T. Jones, Crim2.